my channel. Oh my god. I I just want to say first, I'm so sorry. I have been so absent from you guys lately. I First I was going through finals and then work was crazy busy and then I've been sick and I've just been working a ton and when I'm working I like to spend my free time with my family and my friends not sitting in my room filming YouTube videos but trust me I've been thinking of all these ideas for filming I have so many videos that I want to film and um, I'm <laughs> I'm finally getting better from being sick I have a sinus infection so bear with me with my voice I know I'm so congested I'm probably gonna have to stop filming a few times to go and blow my nose. It wouldn't surprise me. I have my hot tea here with me because my throat is still sore and we're hanging in there though. Um, everyone at work has been like, Alexis, when are you gonna film again? And I'm like, look, I'm working on it, okay? So today is like a full day off. I'm filming a bunch of videos today um, so that I can get them all edited and loaded for you guys. I wanted to start with my main favorites though because, oh my God, there's so many products that I have been obsessing over. Some of them are new to me. Some of them are just things that I have whipped back out that I have been really loving in the springtime, I guess. Maybe it's a springtime thing for me. I don't know. I have a lot of makeup products. I have one hair product and one face product. Wow, <laughs> look at me. Um, but I have a lot of stuff that I just want to talk to you guys about. So this one might be a long one. Hopefully not too long. But we're going to get right into it. Um, the first thing I want to say as my May favorite though, before I even get into my real favorite is my caps. I don't know if you guys watch hockey. I've been a hockey fan since I was like, I don't even know, like my brother has been playing ice hockey since he was five, L less than that, four maybe, so, and I'm a year younger than him, so I've been a hockey fanatic since I was little. Caps finally made it to the playoffs. Tonight is game four of the Stanley Cup playoffs, and we are up two to one. So um, if you guys like hockey, um, go Caps. I'm mad that we're playing Vegas though, because I love Vegas. We went and watched the Vegas team when I went to Vegas for spring break so it kind of sucks that we're playing them because I really do like both teams but obviously the Cavs are my pride and joy I'm from DC well not D I'm from the DC area so DC has been the Cavs have been my ride or die since I was little they're my team rock the red all Cavs I'm done with my rant now let's get into this video about actual beauty products why don't we so let's start with hair first because I have it sitting in front of me and there's only one item. So I have the L'Oreal, I don't even know how you pronounce this. I don't know if it's Elvive, Elvive, I, I don't know. It's a hair mask though. Well, it's a balm. It smells so good. It smells like the salon, I love it. You can get this at Walmart, Target, um, probably CVS and Walgreens and stuff. I got mine at Walmart. But it's just a total repair. It's a damage erasing balm. You put it in for three minutes in the shower. My hair is so, I know it's in a bun today, but it is so damaged from dyeing it blonde over and over and over again, because that's what I like to do. Uh, and this mask has been, literally after using it one night, my hair felt so much better. And it smells so good. So if your hair is damaged, I highly recommend this product. It's phenomenal. I'm trying not to look in the view cam, but I'm making sure that you guys can see it as I'm holding it up. Um, but this is great for your hair. I really recommend it. I have a few other masks that I've been flipping between um, the Aussie three minute repair and then there's this other one I have from Garnier Fructis, I believe. It's like a honey one, but it's not like my all time favorite. This one is my favorite um, for sure. That's all I have for hair. Um, I only have one face product, but I did just do a full skincare routine, so if you guys want more of my favorite products, I will tag that video below as well for you guys to check out. This is the Vanishing Cream Moisturizer from Lush. Um, I was using a different one, but this one, it smells like lavender, which is also really relaxing at nighttime. This moisturizer is super lightweight and it's kind of pricey though. I think I paid like $45 for this. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I didn't even look at the price. I just got in line and bought it and then I was like $47. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but I'm obsessed with it and it will last a really long time. So I'm not even concerned I spent that money on it. But that has been my moisturizer that I've been living for. 
<laughs> Let's start with my brushes. I want to start with my brushes. So, I love Larly. I don't know if you guys watch Larly here on YouTube, but if you don't, you should. She's really amazing. She teamed up with Morphe and they came out with a brush set and these literally are the only brushes I have used since I got this. I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, I have like one or two other ones that I use. But, for the most part, these Laura Lee brushes are the only ones I use. I love the whole kit, so I recommend the whole kit. I think it's available online right now. Um, it's, I want to say $45, but there, it comes with, how many brushes is this, 11? I don't know. I'm going to show you all the ones that are my absolute favorite, but you can do a full face with this brush kit, which is nice. Um, I've traveled a few times since I bought it, and I the only brushes I brought with me were this kit. I keep them in this kit. I don't know why. It's just my OCD, I guess. But you can throw this right in your bag and then you have all the brushes that you'll need. You don't have to worry about it. But this is not one of them. I don't know how that got in there. Laura Lee talks about this brush so much, the Y6, and I finally got it in this kit and I have not used anything but this for my foundation since I bought it. I'm not exaggerating. Every foundation brush I have ever bought always leaves streaks or it just doesn't blend right. This literally blends better than my beauty blender. I have been a beauty bl a blah blah. I have been a beauty blender girl for so long and then I found this brush and I will not use anything else. Let me stop raving about it because I have a lot to talk about, but buy this brush. If you need a foundation brush, why six? get you some. Um, the, another brush from this kit that is like my all time favorite is the bronzing brush which is the R14. You guys can also buy all of these brushes individually on Morphe. I don't sponsor Morphe by the way but um, just so you guys know you don't have to buy this whole kit if you just want individual ones. All of them are for sale individually as well. So yeah. Um, the R14 is another one of my favorites. This is a bronzer brush and I love this. I did Every brush I'm showing you, I did my makeup with today. So I did my bronzer with it today. I love it. It just works really well. It's not too big. It's not too small. It gets right in where you need it. And it's really fluffy, which is really, really nice. Um, another one that I have used every single day since I got it is the R36 from Morphe, which is a highlighting brush. Oh my God. Look, look at my highlight. It looks so good. Um, this is just, I was using a really big fluffy brush to do my highlighter with and looking back, I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> um, but this is an amazing highlighting brush and I have used it every single day. And then, like I said, I use all of these, but the last one that I use every day is the E36. It's like a small, I don't even know what you would call this. It's, there you go. I like to use it for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight, and it does a really good job. Did that today as well. Sometimes I'll use it for my cupid's bow, but most of the time I just use my finger for that. But this whole kit is phenomenal. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing, but these four are definitely a main favorite. I've been using them every day, every day. Oh, yeah, we'll just do this foundation. So I bought this foundation like a year ago, and I didn't really like it when I first got it but now I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing it today as well. Got the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. I have it in shade 202. It is medium coverage, but it looks so good. Like I have it on now, and I guess I don't really have a lot of pimples, so for me, I'm okay with the medium coverage. I can't speak for how it would look on the face if you do have acne, um, so you'll have to test it. But it's medium coverage, it's so glowy. I love it for like springtime, summertime. I think the glowy skin is so in right now, and everyone is living for glowy skin, and this foundation gives it to you, and I, I love it. Um, I have two highlighters I want to talk about. One of them is in the, the Coco collection, um, but both of the highlights in this Coco collection are uh, insanely beautiful. They're my favorite Kylie highlighters that I've ever had, and I find myself always, always going back to them. Um, the lighter one's called Troop Beverly Hills, and then the pink one's called 90210. Both of these look really good on my skin tone. Um, I love them. They're so pretty. I've never found a champagne -y highlighter as pretty as Troop Beverly Hills, and I always find myself going back to it, and this month I have been using it more than ever. Just insane. I love it. But on days when I feel like wearing a pinky highlight, I have been, I, I bought the Milani. This one is... Afterglow, 01 Afterglow. 
Let me just swatch it for you guys. There we go. Just, oh my god. And it was so cheap. Um, I don't know how much it was. I bought it a while ago. Probably less than 10 for sure. But it's so pretty. It's such a pretty highlight. I'm obsessed with it. I want to put it on right now, even though I have highlight on already. Like, what? It's gorgeous. Um, um, okay, the last face product that I have is this blush from ColourPop. It is called Why Hello, and it is just a really pretty peachy blush. I have it on now, but it's kind of blended in with my bronzer, but it's really natural pinky color. It literally makes you look sun-kissed, like, oh, she just spent the day at the pool? Is she a little, a little burnt? Maybe? Maybe not? We don't know. I have two lip products that I've been obsessed with. And they're old. Well, this one is apparently new, so I'll talk about this one first. Um, the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth. There we go. Um, so this is in the color oh, oh, 100 Pink Nude. Let me swatch this for you guys. It is so pretty. I'm wearing this today, too. It's shiny and just really neutral and pretty and I love it uh, I love the shine to it I love the more natural looking lip colors so this has been one of the ones I'm obsessed with and the other ones I'm obsessed with are the KKW lip kits from Kylie I have the ones from Kylie but I mean I know she sells these separately on her own website now as well I love these colors I find myself wearing them every day I'm gonna swatch all of them for you guys I love these because they're more of a gloss, but they also have good pigment. So this is the color Kim. I I wear this one a pretty good amount. There's one that I like never ever wear. Actually, this one might be the one I never ever wear. I think it is. I think Kim and Kiki are the two that I'm not as fond of, just because they're a little bright on my skin tone. But um. I do wear them. So this is Kiki. Next, this one is Kiki. And then one of my favorites is Kimmy. I'll do that one next. I wear Kimmy a lot, like a lot, a lot. So this one is Kimmy, I believe. Yeah, this one is Kimmy. Just look how shiny they are. They're so pretty. And then the last one is Kimberly, which is a very nude shade. I actually wear Kimberly a lot too. Kimmy and Kimberly are my two favorite. But this is all four of them. They just shine so pretty. They're really pretty nudes. I love them. I have been wearing them a lot though. I find myself going to those first over all the other lip colors I have. Like I said, maybe it's the springtime. I don't know. But I have been really into nude, neutral, glowy, and all this makeup kind of goes with that along with the two other random products that I showed you guys. Um, okay, but last but not least, I wanted to share some of my music favorites with you guys because I feel like I love like music is a really big part of my life I'm always listening to music um literally always if I'm not watching YouTube videos I'm listening to music um so I figured I would share some of my music favorites with you guys and even though okay this album just came out but yay from Kanye that just dropped um I have Apple music so I just get all my music on there um but yay from even though this is technically June we're, we're three days in what is today? We're four days into June, but I'm obsessed with this album already, so that's been a big one I've been listening to, but all through the month of May, even though this album's so old, I've been listening to Graduation from Kanye as well. If you guys have never listened to Graduation, I recommend listening to Graduation. Um, it just puts you in a really good mood. Like, I mean, given it's really old, but I just love it. I, I've been listening to it more recently. I've also been listening to Cardi B's new car, um, album, Invasion of Privacy. One of my favorite songs from it is I Like It, and I also really like I Do with SZA, but I love all SZA. Um, and I've been listening to K.O.D. from J. Cole. I don't even know if you guys can see any of the album covers I showed you, but K.O.D. from J. Cole is also really good. Listening to this new song, Bubblin' from Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack, um, one of my really good friends actually introduced me to him, and I actually really like all of his music. So when I'm in a more like chill mood, I listen to Anderson Pack. And then I 
don't know if you guys knew this, but Mac Miller also dropped three new songs. One is called Programs, one is called Buttons, and one is called Small Worlds. I have them right here. All that, like, they're all singles, but they all have, like, the same kind of cover. Um, but those are all really good, too. So those are some music favorites. That's what I have been listening to this month into June a little bit as well. That's what I've been listening to. Um, I downloaded Daytona, but have yet to listen to it from Pusha T. Um, if you guys have any good music recommendations, oh wait, I have one more that I have been listening to a lot in May too. Um, the album Care For Me by Saba. Um, if you guys have never heard of Saba, he features on a lot of Chance's music. But Saba is really good. He has some really good chill music. I like to listen. I like to chill out and listen to music. I'm not all about hype music, so yeah those are what i have been listening to this month if you guys like the music let me know i like to put in my music because i feel like music is a really big part of my life the music i listen to is based off my mood and like what i'm feeling so i feel like music is just really important to me um helps me express myself a little more sometimes but that is all of the favorites i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up please make sure to subscribe to my channel as well so that you can get all of the videos i post if you want you know push that notification button too so you just know every time i post something i will be posting more i promise i've missed you guys i've missed being in front of this camera and that is it. 